guys. Oh my gosh, I never know where to look. Um, <laughs> obviously, you've seen that before. Anyway, so, um, I, uh, I have a new friend. I have a new friend, um, and her name is Otter. Um, her name may be something to somebody else, like, forever in her life, and, and, but to me and her, um, her name is Otter, and it's the coolest thing ever. I have never really experienced Well, okay, th that kind of makes me a liar. I've experienced a connection with people right away, a bunch of the times in my life. It's been, they've all been special and unique and awesome. And, um, but now I have a new friend named Otter. So, anyway, I, um, uh, I left tonight, um, after, uh, after I talked to y'all, and, and, and I, I walked, or well, I didn't walk, I was in my car, obviously, because it's, it's where the Wi-Fi is, <laughs> but, um, I was in my car, and I went to the, to the local, um, Circle K, which is the place I kind of go, like, every day, and get us some sodas, or, uh, anyway, I, um, there's a lot of stuff I need to tell you guys, and I'll tell you soon. It's all, um, it's all good stuff. I might even tell you tonight. I don't know. So, anyway. <clears throat> it's not another boy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. So, I, um, pull into the circle K. Oh, gosh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, that was awesome. Not so much, but. Oh gosh, oh, man, that didn't happen again. Anyway, so I go to the um, convenience store, and there's this lady walking in, and I see walking in all the time, and she usually always walks out of there with one or two beers, and it <coughs> is going to happen again. Really? Okay. So. <laughs> anyway, so I um. Uh, um, my, 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 my lady that I see every once in a while walking through the complex where I live, um, is going in there and I've seen her in that community store too and she usually buys like one or two beers, like, you know, uh, the cheapest beer she can buy and, and, and then she walks back and sometimes I've seen her walking back towards her apartment, uh, her, towards, towards our apartment complex. Anyway, so... I walked up to her and I said, I, I hadn't done my, my good thing yet, so I, um, some people might look down on me for this, um, but, you know, I don't care. I know how it feels to want a beer. <laughs> I knew how that felt tonight. I know how it feels to want a beer and, um, and not have enough money to get one or whatever. And this, this woman walking in, uh, you know, ill-fitting clothes, something that maybe she didn't buy for herself, and, and, um, she just looks like maybe she's had a better day or two in her life than she's having right now, and, and I completely identify, I understand that situation, so, anyway, I, I walked up to her, and I said, you know, I see you walking, um, uh, back and forth, and I've seen you over here before, and I said, could, um, uh, will you please just let me buy your beer, and, uh, I said, you can get whatever you want, whatever you want, um, because, you know, I'm so rich now. <laughs> I did get $70 tonight, but, you know, that was part of what made me feel a little bit more like I could do something, something. So, I, uh, I said, would you please let me buy your beer? And I said, um, and I also, I live over in your same apartment complex. I've seen you walking back and forth, so, um, could you, would you mind, I mean, I, I would be happy to take you home. Um, that way you don't have to walk across this busy street. And she's like, <laughs> what? And I said, um, yeah, get whatever you want. I said, I have to go to the bathroom. I've been on my, on the phone with, with Winnie for my sister, Winnie for, um, like an hour. So I, um, I had to be, <laughs> so I, um, I, uh, anyway, I, 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 she, I said, I have to go to, go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom when I came back. Um, she had, she could have gotten whatever she wanted. To me, I look like I have money. I look like I at least have more than, 
probably she does, I guess. I don't, I mean, it, it looks already seeming, <laughs> but you know, I, it's, it, I looked like she could probably buy that Michelob Ultra instead of getting the cheapest beer she could find in that place still. Um, and I asked her if she needed anything else. Are you hungry? She said, no. Um, no, uh, I'm not hungry. And I said, are you sure? I mean, is there anything else you need? She said, could you buy me a pack of cigarettes? And I said, <laughs> again, to all of you people who think that she, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Hopefully you're just having a good thought for me and my new friends. So anyway, I, um, I said, uh, of course I can. And, uh, because I'm rich now, I have my new seventy dollars. But I am. Um, I keep saying that, and I'm making a joke out of it. And there's no joke. I uh, I did feel a little bit richer. Like I did have a little bit more of a cushion. Like I could do something more for her. And so, it was it, it was a great feeling. And he did tell me if you're ever in a position where you can do something for somebody else, then you should do it. And I was in a position. I feel like I'm probably going to get a job on Monday, and I'm going to be okay, and I could do something more for her. And she needed a pack of cigarettes, so I got her a pack of cigarettes. And you know what? She could have gotten any kind of cigarettes she wanted. You know what she did? She had the very cheapest pack of cigarettes she could buy. So, we get in my car. And of course, any of you that knows me uh, knows that I sort of live in my car, so there's, sh well, especially lately, I haven't been feeling very good, so my car looks like shit, <laughs> and uh, you know, I haven't done anything really with it since I came back from Arkansas, and so, anyway, I, um, oh, always, air check right at the very middle of when I'm talking to you, really nice. So, anyway, I, um, she gets in the car, and I'm, like, moving stuff around, and I tell her, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry, you're having this, <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of stuff down there, just get, get out of the way, and so, um, she, uh, she gets in, and, 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 and we get to, to the light, and you have to wait for this light forever, well, the, the, the markings on the street right there are very ambiguous, there's really no way to tell whether it's telling you to go forward and this way, or to go that way, and, you don't know, there's no way to tell, there's no way to tell when you get there, so I get to that part where I can either turn right or left, and I'm not sure which way to turn, and she gets panicked, because she feels like I'm taking her someplace she doesn't want to go, <laughs> and I realize it, right, when she goes, you need to go straight, and I realize it right then, and, it, and I'm like, okay, look at, look, <laughs> There's no way which, I don't know which lane I'm supposed to get in, and I've said it's this light forever sometimes, because it's just such a slow light, and I'm sorry. I said, I know, I'm going forward. I live in that complex right there. I live in the same place you do. And she said, you do? And I said, yes, ma'am. That's the reason I've seen you back and forth, because I come over here to get my beer, too, and, um... I've seen you before, I've seen you walking back, but I've never had a chance to talk to you. I said, what is your name? All right, then the light turns green. And uh, I go through the light because I'm thinking I need to make sure that she knows that I'm taking her where she wants to go. I, I don't want her to feel like I'm trying to kidnap her and tell her to, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was about to say white slavery and then I remember slavery, slavery, and now I don't even know if I should post this at all, it was, that was weird, so anyway, sorry, I didn't mention that, that, that my otter, my new, my new, my new friend otter, her name, um, she is, uh, she's black, so, she's, mm, beautiful, um, anyway, so, I, um, I, uh, go through the light, and I get to where, and I said, just tell me where you want me to stop, because I'm really, really thinking about, the fact that um, I don't want her to be uncomfortable again. I could feel it, like that panic um, when she thought I was taking her someplace she didn't want to go. And and so um, we get to where she tells me to stop, and I stop right there in the middle of the road. She said, you can pull in here. And I said, well, I just, I'm, I, I need to keep going. My apartment's down there. And she goes, you live here? <laughs> I go, 
<laughs> it's me and my told you I lived here just a little while ago. I just a second ago. I do live here. I live right down there at the end. And she said, do you have a phone number? And I said, of course I do. Well, of course I can't find the pen. And she doesn't have her phone on her. Or, or, I don't know if she has a phone that I could really call on a regular basis. But but she asked me for my, for my number. I'm searching around for a pen. And then I realized there's a car behind me. So um, I pulled into the parking spot. And I said, no. I wrote down my finally found a pen and I wrote down my phone number for her and I and then um I said no I am so sorry I'm horrible with names but what is your name again and she said Otter and I said I'm sorry what and she said Otter and I said um your name I said I said I would be the luckiest chick ever if I could find a friend named Otter but your name is really really O T T E R and she goes, no, no, it's IDA. <laughs> that struck me so funny, and I just all of a sudden knew that I would love her forever because she was my new friend named Otter IDA. And I, um, I thought that that was my good thing for the day because it took me forever. By the time I talked to y'all, and I talked to my sister, and I talked to my dad, I talked to my dad today, and and then I met my new friend named Otter, and. We didn't get that room done, and God, that's just such a hard thing to do. His mind and ours is never an easy thing to do. And I'm not crying right now, but I am. It's just, I would love to be able to admit that I've done something else wrong, I guess. Um, we <laughs> love Um, no, but I, I had a really good night tonight. I did not get that room done. Um, God. If it weren't in Samuel's way, I, I just, I don't know that I'm ready. I wish somebody else could come over here, but nobody else could do that job of me. And, um, that sucks too. But, then, not as bad as it did three or four days ago. It's just a thing. Take it away. Anyway. I thought that was my good thing I did for the day. I still need to go do that because that wasn't a good thing. I, uh, my new author gave me something good in, in my life. She made me feel happy and made me smile. And, and, and you guys have too. So, anyway, that was my story for tonight. Now, it's 1.45. Last night I got to bed at 2.30. And tonight I'm going to try to do um, do that again. So, Sam gave me a book to read. Um, thanks, Lori Hagen. Um I don't know if I should have said your last time. I've been trying not to do that. I, I don't know how much anonymity. I'm trying to be really good about uh, everybody knows who you are anyway. Those of you that have been so cool to me and have told me things and you've, have, you've not been shy about your love. So Lori Hagen, <laughs> last night I went to bed um, and uh, Annie, Annie, cool, cool. Um, you guys can't find her on Facebook because she's just mine, but, um, I, uh, burnt a bay leaf, and you'll now know how you know who she is, but who, um, and, and I read my book, and I tried to turn my phone off, um, earlier, but I just couldn't. I want to respond to every comment, everything you guys have said to me, everything you guys have done, this has just been overwhelming, I can't tell you how much I love you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for making me not only lose friends, but for realize that to re you helped me to realize how many I really have. What a gift. I love you. I'm looking right now with my peripheral vision to try to turn off this light, this camera. Uh, we can't. I love you guys. Bye.